Keepers of the Dream, a community art celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s vision. The Freedom Award is being given out to Louisvillians who exemplify the ideals of Dr. King while reflecting on past struggles that have brought us to where we are today. WHAS 11's Connor Steffen and photojournalist Aspen Hester were at the Kentucky Center and they have a look into what this event means to black Louisvillians. <laughs> On the eve of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. The arts can be a powerful tool to bring much needed change. Louisville has come together. Here's a representation, not only the struggle, but the greatness, the resilience, and the joy of what it is to truly be a black person in America. Yeah. Celebrating Dr. King's vision. And a world where people are not judged by the color of their skin or their religion, but by the content of their character. Linda and Ron Jacobs are some of the many who gathered inside the Kentucky Center for Performing Arts, who remember the civil rights movement of the 50s and 60s. Well, I've admired Martin Luther King since I was a, a young kid. You know, I actually remember starting to watch him back in the 50s. And watching them talk about black people and being having the freedom of equal the equalization of everybody else. Kentucky Senator Gerald Neal also remembers the movement, one he played an integral part in in the Derby City. Uh, ended up in jail quite a few times doing that. I was in this general area. A longtime inductee of the Civil Rights Hall of Fame, he received the Freedom Award during Sunday's event, recognizing work over half a century serving marginalized communities. When I look at this and when I revisit this, uh, I yeah. back in time yeah. get to think about where we were then and what the struggle was and where we are now and the struggle is now. As we approach a day to honor progress, it also serves as a solemn reminder of the progress we have yet to reach. We still have a lot of work to do as far as uh, fighting prejudice and discrimination. So as we progress, we can we can get better as we go along. Even with the problems, it's still getting better. No one can say it's just like it was 50 years ago. Preparing for a day to celebrate the movements of the past that got us here and the road to progress in the future. In Louisville, Connor Steff in the WHAS 1119, on your side.